Hello, welcome to today's session. As always, I'm your host, Kevin Grote, Technical Partner Manager here at VMware. Today I've got kind of an answer session. As I was looking through my emails, I had somebody ask me, what does unified hybrid cloud really mean? And what does it really mean to the customers that aren't the Googles and, and you know, the, the, you know, the huge you know, REIs and, and Columbia Sportswears of the world? What does it mean to your small, medium-sized businesses and how do they prepare for it? Well, if we start by taking a look at the concept of a hybrid cloud, we remember that this was really a whole new idea just a couple years ago, right? For years, we've been talking about cloud, which anyone who's heard me speak knows that I really abhor the word because we really need to talk about software, platform and infrastructure as a service. But I digress. So if we realize that all of those components make up our cloud, then we had hybrid cloud. But a hybrid was just a combination of two things. And just because things are combined doesn't mean that they're working together. We had to find a way to take it a step further. And so this year, we announced the concept of a unified hybrid cloud. A cloud where you have resources that exist across data centers, but instead of them being thought of as data center A and data center B, it's really just part A and part B of data center one. So that whole idea of being ready for any is really when we're saying that any means all. So Anything that you can throw at a data center can be matched with a unified hybrid cloud, putting these two pieces together and allowing them to function as one. So if we see that as a bridge between what customers have now inside of their existing on-prem, what they're going to have inside of their new off-prem data center, and how do we connect these pieces? So these are really cool and lofty ideas but what does it mean from you know, the announcements that came around and, and what are we doing to support this and how does it connect to customers like you that are looking to leverage these technologies but don't know where to start and whether or not they're even relevant inside of your enterprise? These are all super valid questions, so let's take a look. You know, if we see here, we've got several different platforms that are being outlined. Now, these weren't all of the things that were announced at VMworld this year, but I wanted to create just a difference between vision and scope, and then some of the foundational technologies that are sitting below it. So up here inside of the vision space, we've got all of these cool ideas. Project A2, you know, identity management, cloud to cloud, Photon, all of these things you've heard about but those really aren't necessarily going to be immediately relevant inside of the small to medium business space. But if we look at things like Horizon 6.2, which integrates with identity management and Project A2 for app deployment, and if we look at vRealize Operation 6.1, if we talk about the integrations and new capabilities inside of NSX 6.2 and Virtual SAN 6.1, all of these are foundational technologies that cover everything from the storage, network, capacity management, forecasting, and end user spaces inside of your own infrastructures and allow you to build up and prepare for the vision and scope that sits above them. And if you see down there at the bottom left, we've also got a product, actually a platform called Test Drive, which allows anyone who has achieved the competency for end user compute to access resources and take end user compute with Horizon and VMware for a spin to be able to see things like app volumes, workspace identity management, Horizon, RDSH application streaming, and to be able to see those and to be able to utilize them acting on our resources for a pre-proof of concept, if you will. So these are the foundational bits that our SMB customers are able to utilize today 
all you have to do is just realize that it's preparing you for that vertical movement as you continue along your trajectory of maturity and move toward cloud, hybrid cloud, and eventually unified hybrid cloud. One of the really cool points of unification and something that was demonstrated this year at VMworld was the idea of cloud to cloud. So before, one of the things that kept the hybrid clouds separate was the fact that workloads had to be powered off before they could be moved to a different point. And if we wanted to move them back, they had to be powered off to move back to their original space. But now with cloud to cloud, we have workloads that can be moved dynamically between these two points without having to be powered off. And you don't have that Hotel California effect where things can check out any time they like, but they can never leave. And virtual machines can move from point to point and do so live and to be able to do so while still retaining all of the same security paradigms that they have because of the integrations with things like NSX and advanced networking services inside of vCloud Air. So if we look at all of these capabilities and all of these things that we're now able to do, we can see that we're really bringing forth a whole new world when we talk about the unified hybrid cloud. It's not just about moving workloads, it's about also being able to do things like synchronized content. In vSphere 6, we talked about you know, the, uh, the content library and being able to do that across distances. And now being able to synchronize the content between off on-premise and cloud resources so that we no longer have to worry about what exists where. And not only are our production workloads being backed up and being made highly available, but also the content that's backing up those workloads is highly available, redundant, and accessible across multiple points. The key to this is the new Hybrid Cloud Manager. And Hybrid Cloud Manager is a simple download. It integrates directly into vSphere. We have some fantastic resources talking about Hybrid Cloud Manager. And it's a tool that allows vSphere to have visibility not only on-premise, but off-premise. And this is the platform that's going to allow the cloud-to-cloud -cloud vMotion and to allow this unified hybrid cloud to really start to take shape without a lot of additional overhead. All of these things together snap in and allow us to create a true point of delivering upon a unified hybrid cloud vision. We're no longer our on-premise and off-premise clouds living apart. We're now able to merge those two things together to create one unified hybrid cloud that really is ready for any. Thanks so much for taking time with me today. Hopefully this gave you a little clarity into the vision around unified hybrid cloud and how this is still relevant regardless of the size of the deployments and the workloads and the data center that you live in. Look for more videos inside of this playlist. I hope you have a fantastic day. Thank you again, and I look forward to talking to you again really soon.